In this video, you will learn how to transfer the contents of your Google Drive using Google Takeout Transfer. So what is Google Takeout Transfer? This is a free service. It transfers your Drive and Gmail from your school account to your personal Gmail account. You must have a Gmail account and Gmail is free, so you can definitely set up a Gmail account for free. What it does is it makes a copy of your files in your drive and it transfers it over to your personal gmail account so because it's making a copy the stuff is still in your washington local account so you can do this at any time so what will be transferred from your google drive the first thing is your files and folders that are in your google drive that are owned by you those will come over and also the shared files that, that you have added to your drive. Those will be copied, but the new file will not be shared with the original owner. Items that will not be transferred are images stored in Google Photos, shared with me files that have not been added to your drive, and then Google Sites, Google Forms, and other third-party content that might be in your drive. Like if you have Screencastify videos, those will, not bring, those will not be transferred over. So my advice before you do the takeout transfer, that you clean up your drive. And you make sure, because it's an all or nothing, it moves your entire drive. It does keep the folder structure, which is nice, but it's, it takes everything. So you probably wanna go through your drive and clean it up. So now let me show you step-by-step step how this will work. So from your student account, and you have to make sure that you are the only person logged in. If you open up a new tab and you click on your icon right here, make sure that there's no other accounts added. If there are, sign out, delete those accounts, and then sign back in. So the first thing to transfer your contents, you're gonna click on your, um, your icon here and go to manage your Google account. So on this page, you're gonna choose transfer your content. Enter the email address of the destination Google account. This is where your files will be copied and saved to. Then you're gonna click send code. Now it's sending a code to your personal email. So you need to go to your personal email and retrieve that code. So here is the email that you get. So this is my personal Gmail account. And I'm gonna click on this and it says verify your account. So get confirmation code. And then you're just gonna copy that, highlight and right click and choose copy. Then we're gonna go back to the takeout and enter the code and then click verify. It's gonna ask me what I want to transfer over. And like I said, it's an all or nothing. So it's my drive and email. So I am just going to select drive. And then you click start transfer. So it's asking to verify my account Here's the confirmation that we did everything all right. This can take up to a week, but you will receive an email notification in your personal Gmail account once it is complete. All right, so this says Google content, Google content transferred from my WLS account to my personal Gmail account. So this is the confirmation email just telling me that it's, it, you know, it's starting this process, but like I said, it could take up to a week. So I just wanna peek at my drive and see if anything has happened yet. So I'm gonna go to my Google Drive. This is the folder with all of my Washington local information. So let me switch views so, so you can see the full name of the file. When the content from your drive comes over to your personal Gmail account, it is labeled in a folder with whatever your WLS email was and then the date of the transfer. So 
So I'm gonna open it up and take a look at what all has been transferred already. Now this has only been like 10 minutes, so it's not a lot has transferred, but some things have transferred already. So I could take a peek in here and the file structure is still there, um, which is nice. All right, so that is how you do Google Takeout Transfer.